Velasquez. Okay, the tag is at my comment that I just posted or it's in my story. Love you guys. Come check us out over on his story and watch him completely transform me over and transform me. I mean, just, just, just look at this to start. I mean, what is happening? Always doing oh the most. Oh my God, I love it. Okay. Bye. Okay. See Ma you soon. Go to my IG story right now. Yeah, right now. Go. Yay. Hello. One day I'll do it in Spanish. Yes. Hi guys, good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. Hi. We are coming to you live from Glendale, California with my lovely friend Melanie Mills, who I've known for over eight years now, which is crazy. Yes. Um, so we are doing a Monday motivation makeover. As you guys know, I like to check in with you and uh, try to give you some tips and tricks with hair and makeup and then also talk about what keeps us motivated as makeup artists. So hi Caitlin, I'm gonna get started hi, with- Arlena. Um, yes, yeah, say hi to everybody. Yes, so um, con like ask away any questions yes. about our careers or makeup advice. All of it. Or anything. As you can see, I already started with a lot of hair. Oh Look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> Do we love this ABH hair? But for now, <laughs> I'm going to just put it aside and we're going to start on this beautiful face. So I'm going for like an avant-garde uh, spring makeup inspired look. Close your eyes. So I'm going to start with some skincare, which is also mm. inclusive of Melanie Mills Gleam Face and Body Radiance, which we all love. Um, so Opulence is going to be pretty much my primer. So this is going to go on the T-zone of Melanie Mills face. Um, so you're going to use a brush that has kind of like a round tapered edge, end, or you can use a sponge if that's what you prefer. But I love this because it's an instant brightener. Don't you agree? I love opalescence. It's one of my favorite shades. It's so easy to use. It moisturizes the skin. It does add a, like enough coverage to be a, an amazing blur. Right. But it's the easiest shade. Looks great even on super dark skin tones. Uh, it gets more opaly on the darker skin tones, but on the lighter to medium skin tones, it's just really sheer and kind Beautiful. of pinky and bright. Yeah, it's a great brightener. Thank Next. you, Katie. How sweet. We're beautiful, she says. Thank you. <laughs> Wait till we get all the makeups on. All right, so now we're going to move on to um, some coverage. And so I started with the Opalescence. For coverage, I am going to be using Derma Blend. Um, and this is the cover cream right on top of the Gleam I don't think I've used body. that one. I've used like their leg makeup. I always mix Which it with great. the Gleam. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I don't think I've used this. Yeah, it's a little, a little bit goes a long way, and it's a smaller packaging, so it's quite convenient to travel with. Um, and, and so this is a cream foundation. Yeah, think of like Studio Finish Concealer, but in a larger pot. And I'm using the same brush because it still has some of that opalescence on it. Hi Alejandro, hi Fancy. And so this is gonna give me a little bit of that iridescence that I want for spring, because spring is all about new beginnings, fresh, everything is lush and blossoming. So um, we don't want like a full, full coverage. I want kind of like her natural freckles and- Should we get in a little closer? Yeah, absolutely. Can you guys see? I want you to see the gorgeous Andrew too. Yes. Hi guys. You Beautiful. You're such a good guest. And always, <laughs> always answering the questions, which we love. Um, if you guys haven't checked out Melanie Mills makeup book, it's amazing. Make sure that you check it out. Glitter and glam. Yes, it has a lot of her iconic signature looks and it's, um, it's kind of like a story too. So it's not just like a how to tutorial, but you get a little bit of your background and why you do what you do, right? That's right. I talk about that. I talk about my family and how inspired I was just by my, the women in my life and just kind of talk about how I ended up where I was at that moment, which that, that was in 2014. Right. So very Dancing with the Stars inspired. Right. Um, and I had I got to work with David Alley, who's like this amazing photographer. And I had a lot of my celebrity friends, or have a lot of my celebrity friends in there, anywhere from Natalie Coughlin, who's like a 13 gold winning uh, medalist to Audrina Patridge, Jennifer Grey. Oh, they looked amazing too. Ariana Grande, Liz mm -hmm. Gilly. So really fun book plus regular friends and models. Yeah, give us some hearts, guys. Yeah, show us hearts. Yes. You guys like it. Hey, Justin, I see you. 
All right, so now I'm using a little bit of Studio Fix right on top of the Dermablend in C4 um, just to set it. You know I love a little bit of Studio Fix because it's convenient, it's fast, and it gives you the coverage that you desire. You know what I love Studio Fix for? Uh, when I work on stages. So, for example, mm -hmm. currently I do Henry with Nickelodeon, Henry Danger. Congratulations on your Emmy, by the way. Oh, no, it was uh, the Guild Award. Right. I bad. wish. I have mm -hmm. one, one, though. Yes. But, um... No oh, biggie. <laughs> Fancy Nancy says, love your hair, Andrew. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Fancy Nancy. <laughs> I like that name. Um, but Studio Fix, especially on the reel or on these shows where you have a lot of overhead lighting, multi-camera, sure. so perfect, especially for those bald men. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yes, for, for their actual heads. Mm -hmm. Right. All right, guys, so now we're going in with Body Radiance, mm, Radiance Dust. Yes, it always has a beautiful, what would you describe the scent of? It is a vanilla orchid essence, nice. and it's not a fragrance. So the difference between a fragrance and an essence is an essence is 100% pure, right. and it's an oil derived from the flowers and plants, whereas a fragrance has some essences in it, but it's really diluted by like a lot of alcohols and other For stuff sure. like that. So this actually is good for you, too. Uh, it is. Yeah. There's also jojoba oil that's been infused into the radiant dust. So that's why it's kind of moisturizing and silky yeah. and really buildable. Um, oh, vitamin E. so good on you. Look at that. Just warm I feel like you up. made rose gold just for you. You know, <laughs> it is a favorite of mine, I must say. <laughs> so that's basically your contour. Hi guys, so he just, come, he, Andrew has uh, uh, based me with my product, uh, Melanie Mills Hollywood Gleam Face and Body Radiance and Opalescence. Which and then he, right here. Then he went over with the Derma Blend uh, Cream Foundation, and then he kind of came all over with um, some Gleam Radiant Dust, just, just rose gold, just kind of, that's how he's softly contouring. And I love this little set that you have um, on your website right now. It's the Hollywood Film Festival Glow Collection. It pretty much has all of them right there. So, boom. And open One them up shop. in here and le use this as a palette. Right. So convenient. So we have a question from Jack G Beauty. Best way to get attention from brands as a new artist? Um, definitely use their product. And, um, tag them. Tag them. Hashtag them. Um, and... Go in and uh, after you've you know established your gallery and your portfolio for quite some time, and you you've been using their product, and you're actually you're a believer of it, and you and you love it, then reach out to their public relations department and see if they have um, some type of artist pro program, and they can trade for credit. Usually, it's for published work, that's in magazines or music videos, etc. Yeah, I would say that like what I look for is kind of my signature look as well so oh, that's a good point I, I yeah so like if you're going for Pat McGrath to really get noticed or Fenty Beauty or Melanie Mills Hollywood try to do looks that you know will really catch our attention that we might be interested in reposting on our stories as well that's um, a great idea and just often too all the time be dedicated at it and even if you feel like you're bugging keep doing it yeah no I love it oh my god for me it's just like so much love and I try to give the love back by always like giving a like or or a comment. You are and, really good about that. And then I also try to then repost, if not on my story, but at least if not on my feed, at least my story. For sure. So just post away, and and um, it, it I think to me it really comes off. I really start to notice people that are really always using my product, and it means a lot to me. And the more that it's really truly used, is when I'll I will more you know gift uh, right you know and i'm a small brand it's almost like it's coming out of my own pocket so i know that gifting is important so that like it gets out there but i also need to see that you're going to use it too and that yeah. it's not just because you have um you. you know a million followers right it's, it's because you're truly a great artist and have love for the product too yeah absolutely and i i have to agree with what you're saying about like looking at the flow of the actual page and how aesthetically it looks, the color schemes, how it's laid out. Um, try to pay your tribute or your homage to that brand as well and do it in their style as one of their campaigns. And I feel like that's what's what will really get their attention. All right, guys, we're moving on to the eyes. Her face is pretty much done because skin is just about clear, clean complexion and a nice healthy glow. Um, so just concealer, gleam, both in face and body and body rating stuff. And now I'm going to start to use a yellow cream, um, full coverage eyeshadow base. 
So you're going to just kind of close and this is going to go all over the eyelid. I love a good yellow cream shadow. Ooh, yes, how fun. On, on is this from the blonde. flash color palette? Uh, no, this is actually MAC full coverage in yellow. Okay. Yeah. You probably said that and I got so no, you're I good. color. That's good to repeat them for everybody else. Hi, Valentina. So Silver Cloud says, I have no flow. Laugh out loud, my profile is a mess. You know what? My advice, because I... My... I love Silver Cloud. That's Laura. Oh, yeah? Hi, Laura. She's an amazing yoga athlete. Ooh. Yeah. Um, so my advice is if you don't feel like your page has flow and that it's a mess, go through and delete the hell out of everything and clean it up. Oh, my God. I do that all the time. <laughs> Like, I delete have, often yeah. too. Like I like to kind of post things in threes. Like yeah. if you'll go to my page, I'll exactly. have like three product photos, three you know girls that might all three be you know From dark skin tone or light or skin tones or mm -hmm. or a mix, but like a similar it's good pose. Good advice, guys. Good advice. And you want to get in. You want your page to be aesthetically pleasing. You want those first nine to like twelve grids to really tell a story about you and the story you're trying to get off. For People sure. People come to my page because of. of the cosmetic brand they do want to see a little of me so I do give a little of that for sure they they want to see everybody gleaming and glowing and I think that people appreciate that I post other people's gorgeous work right but then they want to see a little I mean I am a makeup artist as well so they want to see what I'm doing and so I I really 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 encourage you to go back do not feel like right. all is lost especially if you are a smaller page at this point and clean it up. I see you, Laura. You've been considering it. What about three at a time in the same outfit? Yeah, I'm a fan of that. I like that too. Yes, totally. <laughs> same outfit or she's a yoga instructor. Is she? Are you trying to promote like the yoga? Is, is that what her page is all about? Yes. So then I would post like a couple. Okay, one cool thing that my friend Ariana DeWing did. Check out her page, Ariana DeWing. She's a beautiful redheaded model uh, at slash ballet, uh, like master ballet okay, gal. Okay, cool. So it kind of reminds me of like the yoga vibe. And right. go and see what she does. She does these ballet poses and toes like all over the place. I just got inspired to see you doing like a backwards something or other like you know, in a, in a unique location. Right. Like, that could really draw people in aesthetically as well. But, yeah, doing things in threes and just making sure that, like, I like to kind of have colors that make sense and flow, too. It just looks nice. It does. It's yeah. art, you guys. Instagram mm -hmm. is is business, and it's art. and um, It's free advertisement, and it's a reflection of you and your personality and your work. Exactly. And if you want people to focus on like yoga, then do a couple of yourself. Do a couple with maybe family or whatever. But you know, some people they're they're not going to want to see your dog in every post. You know, <laughs> unless you want your your page to be about dogs. dogs you know right. what I mean? They want to see My that dogs occasionally. Do get a lot of love, though. They do on your story in particular. But that's the place where I think you can add a lot of your personal flavors right. to is in the story. Um, you know, because it's only there for 24 hours. People like to see that window and see what's going on in your average everyday life. But right. And there's nothing wrong. I'll post a picture here and there of, like, me and my man or my daughter or, you know. And they love it. They do, but I do notice I get more love and more likes on the, the glowy, gleaming skin. So, yeah. you know, you have to kind of pay attention to your audience. For sure. And respond to your audience. When they respond to you, respond back. Go and check out their page. Like a couple of their things. Right. It's work. It's a lot it of is. work. Yes, it is great pigments, right? Um, I use the full coverage yellow cream by MAC, and then I'm using this Pinky Rose Cosmetics Rustic Rose Palette. Um, it just has kind of like everything you need right there. Okay, that is such a stunning palette. Right? Yes. That's, and I this love is what inspired Pinky me. <laughs> Rose. Um, we actually, they, we just be, they just, they just started carrying uh, Melanie Mills Hollywood. Awesome. At their two, they have two locations up in Sacramento. Right. And I hear they're opening up they're another so one. They're so sweet. They are. Nice. I met, um, oh God, Melanie, don't blink. She had a great, oh, I met one of the It'll sisters. come to you. Yeah, it'll come. <laughs> Really cool. And mom. And mama. Mama. Uh -huh. uh, Pinky Rose. Show some hearts if you guys like that pigment and you like that yellow. I mean, come on. Seriously. A yellow on a beautiful blonde. Who doesn't like that? This is so fun. 
So, so he hot. started with like a cream pigment, then he's going over with like different color of green, of, of green, of yellow and uh, orange. Yes. I noticed that Joe from Gleam uh, uh, joined us. Hey, girl. Hey, Joe. When are you gonna come to the salon, boo? Get your butt over here. Tell, would it it'd be fun for me to glam her up in the studio? Of She's course. She's like, oh no. I'm like, yes. Absolutely. I think the people would love it. I did, I don't know if you had a chance to catch it, but I did my mom and my grandma. I did see that. And that was fun. So fun. They looked beautiful. Just I like got you. some comments on Facebook where they were like, no older woman, especially with my grandma, should ever wear that kind of makeup. And it's oh, like, come on. listen, you can be 87 and you can be glam. But guess what? You're gonna have to pile on a little right. bit of makeup going on there. Yeah, and it's all about the skincare and the moisturizers and the eye creams. And, and then how like, it like settles, right. you know, into the wrinkles and all that stuff. And right. you know, at the end of the day, it was so glam and so gorgeous. She told me that she wore that makeup for two days. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's when you know they love it when they go to sleep with it with their head up. Amazing. I love that. All right, I'm just going back with my concealer. And I some love this sibling. brush. Like, it feels good. What is it? <laughs> Can you tell? I don't want to get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> my dog started chewing at it. This is d hashtag dog problems right here. <laughs> but I don't want to get rid of it. It's a Sigma Kabuki F86. I, I really like it. It feels good. <laughs> yeah, it's a good Sorry. one. I was, I'm not used to having extensions That's in my okay. hair. I love the extensions in your hair, though. What other questions do you guys have for Andrew and I? Andrew, as everybody knows, was just a contestant on um, American Beauty Star. Yes, that was amazing. It was a great experience. And they're actually taking audition tapes and um, inquiries at the moment for season two. So if you are looking to expand your experience as a platform artist, or just really, you know, use that exposure and have a little bit more of a presence, like digitally or online. I highly recommend uh, every makeup artist do it, or hair artist, just for the experience, for sure. Well, <clears throat> if you're brave enough. Right. Okay, because, like, I think it's... <laughs> Would you do it? I don't know. Come on, you're know. so good, and you have an amazing personality. I don't know. I, I don't know how I feel about the competition. Yeah. You know, I definitely don't want drama... Or, you know what I mean? I would hate for even just... I, I, I did not watch all of yours, I will not lie. I just, I barely watch TV as it is. But right. the ones I saw were pretty good. But still, man, standing up there, some of that sweating that goes on. I was and sweating, then, for sure. And then just like the drama with the other, other, mm -hmm. you know, and then I would, I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, all you do is have control over your reactions and, and how you present yourself. That's right. And I went in there wanting my work to speak for itself. Like I didn't want to have it be have, about the drama. No, well, I didn't you're want to, not like, steal. drama though. Exactly. No. And, but the thing is, is that a lot of people will get on a show like that because they are drama. For sure. <laughs> and I think it was evident who was, and who wasn't. Oh, hair colors is like, I love that yellow. Isn't it beautiful? I actually added some into your eyebrow. Oh. Yeah. And then now I'm using uh, Caramel Brow Wiz by Anastasia Beverly Hills, which is where we originally met. Yes. Remember yes. our little bootleg booth? That <laughs> <laughs> I know. We, we were talking about this on, on like a couple weeks ago on live. Um, Andrew was the first national uh, artist yeah. for Anastasia yeah. when Norvina kind of uh -huh. took over, right? right? And then I was hired briefly, as I guess I found out later, their first spokesperson. Yeah. This was when I was on uh, Dancing with the Stars. Right. And Which was so much fun. I would send her face charts to approve using like all Melanie Mills products and Anastasia products. Um, and then we had our first IMATS in New York. Mm -hmm. and I think it was it the was makeup show. The makeup show, my bad. And yeah. it was like one little table, me, you, and maybe like... One or two other Marina. Anastasia. Yeah, I don't that think, was it. Yeah. That was a like, tiny booth with a couple stand-up right. banners like is what I kind of have at my, my... And I'm thinking to myself, wow, you know, they've been around 20, 25 years. Right. They really boomed. I, I give uh, Claudia massive credit for uh, um, modernizing so, yeah, the absolutely. line and taking it to a whole other place and taking advantage of social media for the way sure. she has. Because I'll tell you, I didn't jump on the game. Damn. I didn't either, I know. Until it was too late. Look at you all scared. <laughs> I don't have other people curl my lashes that often. I'm like, whoa, wait, I can't talk you. right now while I do that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jojo. Are are you also a hair color 
color specialist. Um, I do like one base hair colors. I don't do like balayage and um, ombres or like super experimental. I have a hair color specialist that works here. Um, we have two chairs. So she does all, uh, all that, like all the super advanced like color specialist stuff, which I feel you should be super educated and informed on with formulas and technology. You totally want to work yeah. with somebody that does color yeah. all day long. Yeah, I'm the style guy. I'm going to do your makeup. I'm going to cut it. I'm going to get you ready for that event. Um, and I'm going to teach you some stuff on the way, you know? So that's what I Oh, I read that great review you posted on that somebody Wasn't posted. that nice? So Aww. sweet. This person posted what a My wonderful experience coming to Andrew was. And at first <laughs> she just wanted her makeup done, but then yeah, you did her hair. Her and now and she was like, like, I'm down. Yeah. It was great. It was a mom and her daughter going to her first prom. It's yeah. a very convenient location, too. Yeah. I mean, you could, like, get glammed and go across the street over to the Americana There's for a hot all date. All the foodery, all the eateries, all the drinks, and everything is there. Well, what are you using? We're using Ardell Demi Wispies with Huda Beauty Dark Adhesive. Um, thank you, Joe. She does look beautiful. And just a little bit on that band to um, add a nice definition so and i'll basically be using a black liquid liner on top of this yes look at this makeup he's doing oh my god talk about like summer vibes right. spring vibes so different from the other one remember yes yes which is still live yeah uh, andrew came to my studio a couple weeks ago and on my facebook there's still the live of it it's awesome it was so fun we're awake super early we were. We started at 8 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> we're total early birds, we though. We really are. I, you texted me the other day. I was like, 6 a.m. I'm there. Hi. <laughs> I have my phone on silent. So, honestly, like, if I don't want to answer it or see it, I'm not going to. It won't, For sure. I put the, the thing down vibrate. so that I don't hear. Not even vibrate, because with all the emails and shit I get, like, even that's like. Zzz, zzz, yeah, I can imagine. I have it silent, and then I flip it upside down so, like, in case anybody calls, like, light won't even, because I'm very light sensitive. And right. once I'm up, I'm up, and it sucks. And that's actually most nights for me, so. Right. You have a hard time sleeping? I, I do. Yeah, I have been. I, I've been stressed. I yeah. have been stressed. We're well, growing the brand. business is not easy. No. Yachty. Rossini, I'm probably murdering the name, is saying spring. Yes, yeah, spring. Show us the hearts if you guys like it because I'm moving on to yes, some eyeliner. Yes, likes, likes, likes. He's getting ready to do some eyeliner. And please ask us any business-related questions, life questions. Yeah, I like the social media questions. Those were great. Mm -hmm. um, I also want to talk to you about, Melanie, what do you do as a freelance makeup artist, as a business owner, as a mother, a wife, a friend, and everything you do in your life? What do you do to keep Melanie Mills motivated? Because that's usually why I do this. Like, where do you find your motivation from? I have to tell you that... I'm exhausted right now. I, I mean, I really am. Like, at this game, I had no idea what I was getting myself into as far as running Gleam. I remember calling my mom going, we can do this, and we'll if we sell this many, we'll make this much. I didn't even take into account, like, all the other expenses, everything right. else. Because um, that's not something we learn. No, I didn't go to business school. I'm not a mathematician. I'm not an accountant type. Um, and I jumped in, you know, head first. I got, I got an inheritance. We are a women owned business owned by my mother, my yes, grandmother and I. Yes, girl power. <laughs> Seriously. And, um, I made, I made a lot of really expensive, bad decisions over right. the years. And I've hired a lot of wrong people that were expensive mistakes in the right. end as well. So and here we are. I, I started this uh, in 2011 and I rebranded in 2016 from Gleam by Melanie Mills to Melanie Mills Hollywood and I, I repackaged everything. Which makes so much sense. It did. I actually got to meet with the owner of Estee Lauder and this was his advice and, and you bet I, I took it. For sure. Um, so how do I manage? What's my motivation? Oh man, sometimes when you're in such a hard grind, the passion for the art gets lost. Yeah, I will. That's honest. I will admit it. Um, that's and honest. Lately, like, okay, I just started doing these lives on, on my channel. Are on point. Oh my God, you're getting so many views. I'm like, yes, this is what I want. So I'm going to continue to yeah, follow this story. Yes, you just keep doing it and keep growing it and, and it'll it'll definitely pan out. Right. But 
the the lives have inspired me recently awesome because it's like pretty, interacting with your audience yes it really has but i would say my family is my biggest motivation i have That's to beautiful. i'm the, the breadwinner my husband mm -hmm. um does everything though like i uh, he does do Nick lift on the side and he yeah. basically works for my company full right. time for free but but he's you know if it wasn't for him and my dad and my daughter you know, that's what really, really motivates me yeah. to keep going. Because I've had some rough family. months, you know, right. I have. And it's like this, the start of this year hasn't been so easy either. So I just have to tell myself, like, what, take it day by day. You're going to sure. wake up in the morning unless yeah. it's your time to go for whatever right. reason. And uh, you yeah, will get through head. it. Yeah, you know? absolutely. That but, family support is no joke. So thank you for sharing that. Yeah. That's beautiful. Going to work excites me too. You know, like I'm yeah. on hiatus right now. I love just being in my studio. That was inspiring. I put a lot of pressure to not even be able to start my lives or you. I want to get going with YouTube as well until I had a working yes. space. Right. I needed that space. It hindered me a little. I should have just got on it and just started doing it. But in my head, I had to have that space. Yeah, you, it needs to be done at the right time. Yeah. And now it is. And it's like, it's stuck. It, that's ex inspiring and fun and exciting. Um, lots of, you know, like I'm super inspired and motivated because I'm teaching this week up in New York at Make It Forever. I haven't yeah. had a brand reach out for this in a long time. And it feels good because though I am a CEO, founder of my own company, um, I'm still, I still just have a niche yeah. body makeup line. I still use everything else sure. and still work on the sets. And so you if you know, guys are in New York this week, head yes. out to Makeup Forever and visit Melanie Mills because she's going to be facilitating a master class. April 12th, Thursday, 6 p.m. If you're, if you're not a, a, a member, um, $25 and you get to redeem it in product with 25% off of everything. So come and hang. Yes and um, so make sure you go follow her I'll, i'm gonna reshare this it's all over my story and then um you guys follow her for the information for this weekend so i just saw a question about the palette it is uh pinky rose cosmetics rustic rose and it's basically this entire row on her eyes her eyebrows um and for blush and a little bit of highlight stunning it's like a perfect blonde girl palette <laughs> <laughs> Um, I did some Argel Wispy Lashes, and now I'm going in with a black gel liner because I love that contrast. Yeah, if you see other questions, let me know. And who's that from? BH this... Cosmetics. Oh, this this liner? Yes. Oh, I haven't used. Yeah. My good friend Reed Cromwell. I, yeah, I'm going to see him tomorrow. He booked at 8 a.m. Really? Yeah, but he has to do his eyebrows. I look, tell him I said hi. How random is that? We met him <laughs> at Anastasia. Anastasia as well. Yeah. <laughs> He's yeah, a doll. he is a doll, and he's uh, he is blowing up BH with all this new fabulousness that he keeps yeah. playing with. It's really cool. Yes, he's fab. Sorry, guys, I'm really concentrating on that wing, so I'm not going for a super dramatic wing because that's more like holiday, fall. Um, I think for spring, it's more of like a baby, medium sized wing. And do you start on the outside first, or do you swipe up, or do you swipe down first? Um, I'm starting on the outside of the wing, which is the thinnest part, and I'm going in, and then I go back and forth. So then I swipe both, like left and right. All right, so what are your questions? Let's see. Spring, yay. Uh, what's the palette? We answered that. I like to send, I'll, I like to send my favorite artwork, fashion makeup for you. Yes, please do. Uh, what advice would you give for a soon-to-be graduate makeup artist uh, student? Uh, I would recommend you hit up uh, Makeup Forever and visit if you're in New York <laughs> and go to all the master classes that you um, can possibly go to. Everywhere, all the time. I'm at Makeup Show, BeautyCon, um, you know, Fame sure. Expo. Uh, There's so many uh, networking events that you can expose yourself to and make sure that you're on all the sign up lists or subscription lists i can't speak right now um and that way you're familiar with any events or future classes that are going to be upcoming and schedule uh one-on-one -on -one with your favorite makeup artists like us and you can have that 
one-on-one -on -one time for a true mentoring experience. Yes, yes. The one-on-one -on -one is amazing. <coughs> all the classes are amazing. When you go to IMATS and you go to all those places, uh, it's not just for a shopping experience. Right. I mean, even if, I mean, it's amazing who you run into, who you meet. Absolutely. Um, you might run into somebody that's looking for an intern coming up or knows of somebody. Right. Um, definitely reach out about interning to brands. Mm -hmm. um, work those makeup counters because that's a lot of uh, experience. You know, you just... The thing about doing makeup is doing it, doing it, doing it, doing it on right. all types of skin tones and types, yeah. ages as Absolutely. well. Um, yeah. You know, I worked for free for years in the beginning of my career. There's right. times I still do things for free. Yeah, you know, you're gonna and pick it and comes choose. back around for sure. I mean, you need to make a living. Yeah, but when you're starting off in particular, and then just start passing your cards out. You're you're a legit artist now. Just come right. up with your pricing and start you know advertising it. Thank you for the hearts, her colors. Thank you for saying I love your work, Aww. Uh, Fernandez. All right, guys, we are moving on to the Where can lip. you buy the palette from? Pinky Rose online or their stores up in Sacramento. And yes. they also just launched with Riley Rose. Oh, I heard about that. Yeah. All the locations. I need to experience that. Yeah. I need to experience Riley Rose. Actually, I'm trying to get in Riley Rose. You should. I think that we'd be perfect there. I agree. Go ahead and mix that in. Speaking of Makeup Forever, I'm moving on to our Aqua XL color paint, which are multi-functioning. Oh my God, I know. Look We're at that. going there. We're taking it there. So this you can use anywhere. Uh, eyes, face. I hope you get to use it at the class. Um, but I'm using it on the lips with a flat, straight edge. Uh, it's actually a paintbrush, but I love using paintbrushes for makeup. They just they got really nice clean precise edges nice no lip liner nothing else literally just this i had you mix it with your lips and then now we're going in and perfecting you know you might have to reactivate it and use a little bit more but that color is banging come on who doesn't like a beautiful fuchsia lip on a pretty blue eyed blonde like this <laughs> yay You're feeling it, right? i am i love it <laughs> So I think I will use a little of this in my class. Dude, you can use it for everything. And it dries, so it is waterproof, so it's going to be great for humid environments or just a, a overall long-lasting lip matte finish. But you can also add shine to it on top, which I probably will, because um, I have some lip radiance that you have on discount, right? Which I'll let you talk about shortly. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Who doesn't like a disco? <laughs> I do. Clean your teeth a little bit different. Perfect. You guys like that lip color? Show us some hearts if you like it. Yay! Yay! This is popping. Yeah. So talk about your lip colors, lip radiance. Oh, okay. So um, uh, way back, like four years ago, <laughs> I launched some lip glosses, and they're amazing. People love them and still want them. But I decided to just phase out of them for the moment and focus on the body makeup because the body makeup it's the uh, bread and butter. is the bread and butter. It's the main hero of the line, and it's it can be confusing for people. So I felt like let's really, really hammer and explain, you know, yeah. the the gleam body radiance system. Yeah. And and then of course with money, I can you know launch into a full color line like I want to. Yeah, you totally will. Yeah. Yeah, but it's available on discount. At your website. For 12 bucks. They're usually 24, yeah. so they are literally half off. There's only like four shades left. So these are her lip colors on right now, you guys. Makeup Forever Aqua XL M82 and Lip Radiance in Uncontrollable, just on top to give it some moisture. Because for spring, you definitely want some hydration in there. You don't want it to be super matte. I am just are loving, you living? <laughs> loving. You I look mean, so good in color. This is Fun. Yes. I usually do color lips, but I, I mean, I clearly don't just go for the yellow eyeshadow. This looks so good on I you. love it. Oh, yeah. this I is so cool. I just need so to fix cool. that outer lip, you know, that one little... Oh, yeah. Your Elvis. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I sound like Britney Spears, you guys. I was sick last week. I had, like, I had cold. I'm fine. I'm better now, but I still have, like, remnants of that nasal kind of noise. You're there hot. we go. You're sexy. Oh, you're I, hot. I sound a little nasally. I hope Whoa. I'm not coming down with it. Everybody I know is flipping sick. Just take your vitamin C, which I have some <sighs> right now. All right, so we're moving on. I'm going to start to put her hair up. And 
complete this look. Come on, guys. No more questions. <coughs> I feel like I saw Wow, him. such a pop with that pink. I love yeah. it. He is. He's such talent. He is. Thank you. Thank you so much. Give us some hearts, you guys. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello, Nicole, baby. Yay. All right. So we're going to take some hair, and it's just going to be like a pretty side kind of like here i want the, the i want the people to see you yeah okay so i just really want to maximize the amount of length my hair is like like here right <laughs> but i'm a little extra i can't just do this is simple. so <laughs> wild yeah it looks maybe i want it down i don't know i'm kind of feeling that too like all to the side what do you guys think do we want it up or down up, show some hearts if you want it up or if you want it down. Maybe, I don't know if you can do a thumbs down. You could, uh, yeah, do, do uh, yeah, do that. Hearts if you'd like it up and a, and a thumb down like oh, this if you want it you down. Want it down. Oh, yeah. side. We got a side from uh, Oh, Nadia. okay. I like the side too. Come on, too. guys. Anybody else? What do you think? Up the or down? The side is working. What do you want to see? How do you want to see him work his magic is the question. First, let's kind of shake out these extensions so they blend in better with her hair. And the trick is to take your rat tail comb and then start to We got it up. We got it up from oh, somebody. So okay. we have a side we're and at, we have an up. We're at a tie right we're now. We're at a tie. Oh, we got a heart. I think that was the first one to say up, right? That was up. <laughs> okay, how about we do like a half up, half... I'm just going to do that. Okay. All right, so we're going to take our first section and just start ah, to... somebody just said half upside. There you go. Start to wrap it around with your fingers. We're going to follow the... the uh, so it's going to be like a cute side, like messy. Basically, we're trying to cover the extensions and where they meet. You definitely need some bobby pins. So I'm going to have you hold that for me. Thank you. XX Christy XO. Yes, it is flipping hot in Cali. Yes. That could yeah. be a reason why we're all like this too. Nasal. It was like super on the chilly, cool side for us here in Cali last right. week. And then out of nowhere. 90. 90 degrees. It's right. crazy. This weather's crazy. And then I'm flying to New York, which you poor people, like when I say it was chilly for us, that's like a They're day dying. in the park for you. Yeah. Like, But yeah, it's cold. It's going to be like 30s, 40s at night and like one day with a 70, but the rest is like rain and like 60s. And anyways, I'm pretty much working every day anyways, but I do love my walk through Central Park in spring, but I'll be back for the makeup show there. So hopefully that'll be amazing. Gorgeous. Make sure you're taking your emergency. All I know, right? Stuff. I, I swear... Oh, someone says, messy side pin curls. Yes. And then somebody else said, allergies. Yes, totally. <laughs> totally. They're living our lives right now. <laughs> All right, I'm going to start to do... You know, I'm going to change... I, I'm going to change it up. I just realized what I'm going to do. Ooh. Yes. It just came to me as we were talking and you guys are talking. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of a braid. And then make that messy because that's easier. All right, so we're gonna section our hair into three large sections. Uh, we've already preset the hair by adding curls. We're gonna do a side, cute, loose braid up to thing. Um, you wanna just do your traditional crisscross. Everyone knows how to do a basic braid. I know, but look how pretty, it looks like little hearts right now on, on camera, <laughs> look at that. But we're gonna loosen it up, so it's not gonna stay like that perfect. Uh, Cause spring is like, you want to try, but not try too hard. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So once you have that, go ahead and loosen up some of that hair. And then take our... Because that's the goal, is to cover these tracks. We don't want to see. There we go. A little hairspray. Are you guys enjoying it? Show some hearts. Yay! We're think. definitely getting love. Yay. And we have a new... A new person, Jador Andrew Velasquez here has been gleaming me up, and he's used the Melanie Mills Hollywood Gleam Body Radiance and some dust and a little lip radiance, but he also used this gorgeous matte cream, yellow with the pinky uh, rose palette. Um, this one right here, and it's called Rustic, Rustic rose. rose, and it's beautiful. Look at these yellow eyes, you guys! Like how crazy is that? They're intense. I love it with this bright 
lip. It, he just gave me a real light base of like opalescence gleam mm -hmm. with um, the Derma Blend Cream. And it kind of just contoured and blushed me, or uh, just contoured with, with my uh, rose dust. And then with this one palette, he did all the eyes and, uh, and blush with all it. All right, I think we're done. I am feeling so <laughs> fab right, right now. Totally. So just beautiful. Push that up yeah, right there. Thank you. You guys, did you love it? Did you have fun? You have to tune in more to both yes, of us. We're to both, both going to do this. Thank you for more joining often. us. Yes. And not, not just with each other all the time, with right. other people as well. But this was a total blast. Thank you, Andrew, for Thank having you. me here in your I studio. You. I Thank you guys you. for joining us. And again, try to share that positivity with whoever you're around with. Keep uh, fighting for what you're passionate about and just follow what you love and share that with others. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for the hearts. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace Bye. out.